Okay, I missed what happened, but yeah, I'm coming in on it. M5C finally giving me an issue. Not like I'm happy about it, but I believe I got some heat creep because it's stuck right about here in the actual heat block. Um, so I can't get anything in or out with the nozzle removed. Filament path is definitely jammed. It is not the stepper motor. It is definitely a filament path issue. I cannot get anything to come all the way in and out. And I measured it right to about there. Right about there. In the middle of the heat sink. So I have heat creep. I don't know how. Fan's been working fine. Maybe we need to upgrade the fan. But yeah, heat creep. Yeah, here's my tube. Since oh, it's out, so that's all the way in. That's where it would be, right there in the middle somewhere. Yeah, this is going to be fun getting this off. I went ahead and took a picture of where all of my wires go. I'm not worried about the extruder motor. We're going to take this heat block off. Screws are out. Moment of truth. Down in there somewhere. We're going in. Like I said, definitely not the extruder motor. We got a clear path and that was clear path before. Looks like the heat sink is only connected with the four screws to this fan, this fan shroud. So, yeah, let's, let's change it. Okay, screws are off. Oh, fan just comes right off. There's the heat sink. Yeah, just in there. There it goes. Pops off. And here we are. There's the heater block and the heat sink. So it's somewhere in this throat here on this heat sink. And this heat sink is very warm. Very warm. It's right about there. Okay. Push it all the way in. Right about there. Yeah, right in the throat somewhere. Then on the other side. Yep. Somewhere right in this throat. So since I know it's somewhere in the throat, I'm not going to worry about taking off the actual heater block. Since I know it's up here somewhere. We're going to try to get this out. So I'm going to heat this up just a little bit and cram it up there and try to melt out whatever's in there. Boop, and out it comes. Whatever the heck that is, I can't even tell. But we got it out of the heater block. Uh, right out of the... So we got it out of the heat sink. And yeah... That was fun. Mm, not too happy. It doesn't seem to want to go all the way through, so we're going to heat up the clog, the no clogger. And try that one. It's a little bit thicker tip. Alright. Much better. Much better path now. So, that was in there. That was all gunked up, but cleared it out now. So let's run it and see what happens. Hey look, now I can see through it. So yeah, we definitely don't have a clog anymore. Let's put it back together. Just reverse order what you saw. I mean, it, 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 it would solve the issue that I'm having if I just swap this bigger fan. And I may or, not, may or may not have checked it to see if it fits, which it does. But you would need a little hole in the middle here. <coughs> I don't know where I could find any... STL files that might work with that at all to put a hole just right here to let air flow in for a bigger fan. Hmm. Alright, printing a new housing for the M5C for the new blower fan. Well, for the new fan for the hot end. Alright, I spliced the wire here because it's a different connector and now we have a much bigger blower on there. Got that right. Yep, got, yeah, we're good. Now, let's turn her on, see if she works. We're gonna do that. This is the old fan. That's the new fan. It's twice the size. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. The beauty of this is I have to hit my phone with it while I'm using my phone to record. Alright, see if I can get the fan on. Alright, we started it up. There it goes. Yep, we've got fan action. Yep, it's pulling in. Looks like I need it too. That's what we needed to see. 
Alright, upgraded the hot end fan. Hopefully we won't have any more heat creep. Yeah, and you just make a fan adapter piece here where you cut out a hole so you can get some air. Oh yeah, that's pulling in there. Yeah. Alright, I got the lid too. Yeah. We're good. I'm not closing it up yet because I want to make sure the clog is fixed. All done. Everything's finished. Parts are all in place. Got the cutout for the new bigger fan to get some airflow. Otherwise, it was up against the gap here. So we are good to go. And the M5C is back up and running well. Yeah. Gotta love it. It's a reflection on the light.